Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, bonus energy check-in for Taurus. This is going to be for your November 2023, for the rest of your November 2023. We're just going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the rest of November. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, Apply this to your own unique, unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, uh, uh, for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to... Uh, Book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So, Taurus. Energy checking for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? So tell me about Taurus. For the rest of their November 2023, for Taurus, for Taurus, for Taurus here. Let's see what we have for you guys. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you are moving towards your passions here, Taurus. You're moving towards your passion where you're doing something that you're really passionate about, something that's very emotionally fulfilling for you. I mean, maybe this is something in the creative field. Yeah, this could be something in the arts or something like that. With the Five of Pentacles and the uh, King of Wands. So what we have here is I feel like you guys are definitely going through a bit of obstacles here. Some of you guys could be going through some sort of financial struggle here at this time. And I feel like what we have here is I feel like you guys are definitely trying to overcome it by doing something that you really love. Some of you guys could be also be facing some health issues here too. Uh, you know, I feel like you guys might have found out something about from a doctor, you know, something, you know, that needs some sort of treatment here. I, I don't feel like it's anything serious. I do feel like maybe some, some levels are low or maybe some levels are really high here. I feel like it has something to do with someone's blood pressure here. So I feel like that's manageable, right? So I do feel like there, you might be finding something out that, uh, that might affect your health, but it's not nothing really, really incredibly serious. We have the Knight of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. Tell me the Ace of Wands. Always the Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands here and the Emperor's Libra Taurus energy here. Wow. So Taurus, I feel like you are definitely in this energy of really birthing something new here for yourself, really focusing on your path. I mean, this could be an indication with the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the King, uh, King of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Three of Swords. Someone here is watching you glow up. Someone here is watching you move on without them. Someone here is just really just maybe missing you a lot or feeling lonely without you. Whoever this is, I feel like this person messed up. They put you in the third party situation. They have been very in and out. Uh, but yeah, I do believe that, you know, someone here is going through some sort of health situation. Maybe this is the person that's going through the financial struggle here and not you. Because that Empress is really abundant energy. The Five of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, the King of Wands here in the Tower. Wow. Someone here is watching you glow the F up and I feel like it's not really sitting well with this person. They're kind of like, man, I could have been with Taurus. That could have been, I, I could have been sharing these moments with Taurus here. I could have been, you know, with Taurus, you know. Uh, but whoever this is, I feel like this person is not doing well watching you glow up here. The Knight of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Three of Swords. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's completely hung up on you. Yeah, they're completely hung up on you. They don't want to let you go. I feel like this person sexually sexually fantasizes you, uh, fantasizes about you a lot. Um, you know, and I do feel like this person's uh, perhaps really good in bed, but it's unfortunate because I feel like this person treated you really poorly. Um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Taurus? What does this Taurus need to know, look out for, work on for November 2023, for the rest of November 2023, for Taurus, for Taurus. Okay, so we had a nine of wands and a six of wands, okay? Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles, Cancer Energy, Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, whatever is going on here, I feel like things are really going really, really well for you. 
whenever you started here with the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Swords, yeah, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you're just in this energy of really master manifesting here, really doing you. You know, the best revenge, and you know, when it comes to a break and when it comes to a separation is to live the best life that you can. Yeah. And whoever this is, this person's definitely watching you do that. And they're definitely hurting over it. Yeah, they're definitely hurting over it. That's the best revenge is to not seek out revenge such as eye for an eye. But the best revenge is to live your life, live your best life. You know, show that you are able to pull yourself out of some something that was very painful, something that was very hurtful and not letting it control you, which I feel like what this person wanted here. Okay, the Nine of Wands. With, wow, Taurus, this reading is amazing. You know, one of the things I feel like you really proved that you could stand without this person here. Yeah, whatever you're doing here, you're doing something uh, uh, where I feel like this is your purpose in life here. I mean, I mean, maybe your purpose in life is to empower others here through, through, through your experiences. But whatever this is, this is going extremely well, okay? And this person's watching it, the chariot. We have the high priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, the ace of pentacles. And the five of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Wow. I, I, I feel like what, yeah, I just feel like you're just highly wise and highly intuitive just highly involved involved not involved evolved here okay um you know whatever is going on here i just feel like you're living your best life ever yeah that's what i'm feeling here ten of swords and the five of cups whoever this person is that's missing you that's looking to reconnect with you i feel like this person's in some sort of deep regret whoever this is this person's obsessing over this person's watching you glow up and they are obsessed they are obsessed here. I do feel like this person also deals with depression here. Yeah, I do feel like this person deals with some sort of mental health uh, situation here. And, you know, this this person could have been showing signs of that when you were with, the, with this person here. But you, we have someone here that's watching you glow up. Or wa someone here is watching you become very, very, very successful on your own. And I do feel like this person is completely upset, like watching from the sidelines, obsessed. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person really wants to come back. We have the sun, we have the, yeah, whatever, yeah, I, I also feel like this person went towards somebody else and they feel like they're not really happy with this person or that they felt like they could replace you with this person, but they're realizing that, yeah, they, they're realizing that they were wrong. Yeah, um, this person could have treated, hor treated you horribly and now I feel like the tables have turned on this person because I feel like they got with the person that is treating them horribly. Yeah, they're definitely having a really hard time. Yeah, they're definitely having a really hard time. So Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.